All right, welcome back guys. Today I've got a Cat 3054, AKA a Perkins. Gonna be removing and replacing this fuel pump governor. Um, yeah, that's what we're doing today. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is replace, or excuse me, remove all these fuel lines and get this stuff out the way. I'll show you guys after that. All right, I got the belt guard off. Next up, I'm gonna be loosening up that the alternator on the other side so I can get this belt off of here. All right, belt is off. Next up is to remove this front cover and then the uh, and the water pump on the other side. All right, so I'm almost, I'm also gonna remove this fan. Um, it's it's in the way of these bolts down here. The hub is. I could probably sneak them out, but I don't even I don't want to work around this thing. And it'll make it easier to clean up, to clean up the mating surface once I, I'm going back together. So I'm gonna remove this fan as well. All right, I've got the water pump off. Pretty slick little setup, little gear driven deal. Looks like it's driven off the same, the same gear that the, uh, that's on the front of the fuel pump. So. Should be pretty cool. Uh, next, gonna take off my front cover. All right, I got my engine timed. We're at number one TDC. This one is like twenty thousandths. Barely moves. Exhaust forty something thousandths. So, getting ready. Gonna pull the gear off. Then uh, get to the pump. Okay, I got a little ahead of myself, so gear is loose, as you can see. There we go. And pump, I already had the pump off. There's one bolt just holding it in. But it's, uh, that's what it calls for. All right, injection pumps out. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and Install the new one. There we go. So the issue I'm pretty sure with this one is this little motor or actuator assembly stopped working. So I think this is the rest position and this allows fuel. This is a Woodward governor or Perkins, whatever. So when this little actuator turns pushes on this little lever here and I think that's what allows your fuel in I don't know these that well but if I had to guess that's what's going on here Yep. Alright, new pump mounted. Looks beautiful. Come through on the gear. Torque that guy down. Alright, gear is on and torqued. So now I'm going to remove this little timing pin out of the side of the, the pump. You back it off and then it has a little, a little um, stepped shoulder. You slide this little lock washer or move it up and then you can tighten it back down. But this is what, what pins your, your crankshaft 
inside of the pump to a top dead center as well. So, all right, next up, uh, clean up a little bit and then install front cover. So, that's how we're looking, looking pretty good. I think I'm going to install the front cover. Um, install front cover put fuel lines on hook up the the necessary electrical and then I'm gonna try to start this thing before I put the belt and the fan back on that way just so I can check make sure my timing was good before I get too far but all right all right front covers on I'm gonna install the water pump too, might as well. Install the water pump, throw those fuel lines on, and and uh, put that cover on the top, the valve cover. Okay, I've got everything hooked back up, coolant back in it, fan back on, belt back on. Just need to put the guard on. So what I found out with this thing is you have to program it. So I'm going to need a 232 serial connector and uh, to run back to the shop and grab our programmer. So I'll probably come back out tomorrow and program the governor and then and we'll give her a crank, see what happens.